Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's see how to do the spell check or the spelling check in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So whenever we create a drawing, we just want to do the spell check to check all the spelling error before finishing the drawing. So in Creo Parametric, we use a model check to do the spell check and for this, you go to the file, prepare and here you have two options, model check regenerate and model check interactive. So you can go with any one of this option. So I'll go with this. I'll say OK. And this will generate this report. Now here you have errors and warnings. So if you click this, it further expand. So here you have different type of errors. Override dimension, node spelling, title block spelling, overlapping. So if you go to override dimension, it will highlight the dimension which is overwritten. Select this dimension and correct it. And just type at the rate D and say OK. And the dimension got corrected. Now just refresh it. And that error is gone. Now the node spelling, click here. And here you have two nodes. One is this one, correct it, and update it. So it got updated here. Similarly, select this, correct it, update it. So this is this one. Similarly, you have title block spelling, click here. So this text, this is driven from the part. So correct the part name and it will be automatically corrected. So you cannot correct from here. Next is this one, Creo model, this is correct. So I will ignore it. Then third is this one. So this is a text. So I'll simply correct it and update it. Now once again refresh it. So now title block spelling is having these two nodes. Then you have overlapping views. Click here, select this and this. So this shows that uh, these two views are overlapping. So move the views to correct it. And once everything is corrected, close it. So that's it from this video. So this is how we do the spell check in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.